Turns out you may be putting more on the table than you realize when you have dinner. Yeah, Ross, some disturbing findings in the use of antibiotics in meat. Now, I've got my dinner here, okay. it's sirloin steak, and there is nothing on here that says this is antibiotic free or does not contain antibiotics. And that could mean the animal was treated or fed antibiotics, and that's led to an increase in meat like this containing antibiotic resistant superbugs. Do you know what's really in the food you eat? To answer that question, Consumer Reports went to the lab to find out what kind of superbugs lay in wait in the raw meat we buy. The overuse of antibiotics in farm animals, along with the conditions that animals are raised, creates an environment for resistance to develop and spread. The numbers are alarming. More than 23,000 North Americans die each year from antibiotic-resistant infections. Some doctors say the routine use of antibiotics in healthy animals is contributing to the problem. Extensive three-year testing by Consumer Reports reveals superbugs in 57% of the raw and uncooked samples of chicken, 83% of the turkey, and 14% in beef and shrimp. The best meat and poultry practices ban the use of all antibiotics and other drugs in healthy animals for growth promotion and disease prevention. It's common practice for antibiotics to be put into feed, but Health Canada is trying to limit the availability of antibiotics for animals and wants to boost veterinarian oversight on their use. But shopping for meat raised without antibiotics can be confusing. Take the natural label, for example. It only means that the cut of meat does not contain artificial colors or additives and was minimally processed. It has nothing to do with whether antibiotics or other drugs were routinely used. Consumer Reports says look for the organic label, which certifies the animal was raised without antibiotics. You can also look for labels with these terms no antibiotics, no antibiotics ever, or never given antibiotics. And we are still a long way from eliminating antibiotics in the food chain, but Health Canada wants to move in that direction. Yeah, good idea, but uh, what's the real risk here? All right, let's talk turkey, like the turkey we just saw. 83% yeah. yeah. of the turkeys tested had a super bug, and think about it, salmonella outbreak. What happens if you get a super resistant salmonella mm. bug, and that meat is not cooked un undercooked, or it's not cooked properly, and the workers who handle it as well, yeah. you're putting them at risk. You bring that food home, you don't cook it properly, we all eat raw tuna, we all eat capaccio, yeah. raw meat, right. so we are at risk. Yeah. Mm.